Okay, so we're going to do the first ever lighting. We're going to be working with an HDRI here. Um, and we need it to be blue. If you look here, see there's lots of blue light, and this is all from the lighting outside. This blue is coming, coming from. So you could use something like Peter Guthrie's HDRI here, um, and that will work nicely. But also, Viz people do some free HDRIs. You can download those, and if you do, you know, these cannot be used commercially, but you can download these, and they have some blue ones down here, which, you know, will add some blue light into the scene, and they could work. Not as much blue light as Peter's, but still, they're there. Uh, also, you have HDRI Haven, where you have 100% free HDRIs, which you can use commercially. When this guy gets money, hey, he works. Look at him, Greg Zal. Anyway, he, he gets money through Patreon, so feel free to sponsor him there. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. You can go to HDRIs, and... You can just click on them, and you can download these. This is a different resolution. So we're going to start with this one, and then when it comes to final render, we can add this one. And if you just click on that, it'll download it, and then you can move it to where you want it to be. What we're going to do is just click on V-Ray Light, just drag that over, and then change this from plane over to dome, and let's call this HDRI. And then just click on the map. Just go V-Ray, HDRI, and then just click Cancel. And then what you're going to want to do is just drag this over here. Make this an instance. Double click on this. I'm going to call this HDRI as well. And we're just going to load this in. You'll see by clicking on here, this already has it as a spherical mapping type. Just go to wherever you have these. And I want the 1.5. On the one and a half megabyte version here, the small one here, just for the doing tests. And this multiplier needs to come down to one. As I said, make sure that is spherical. Now, what you need to know, important details, is if you lower this, your shadows are going to become sharper. And if you push this up, your shadows are going to become uh, less dense. So, and then this is the, the, these here control how bright the sun is. Make sure you have this viewport selected and just press F9. And this is kind of nice. If you look at the render here, this is very dark and a bit of blue light coming in there. And so what we're going to do is, because these doorways are so wide, I've made them wide, we've got this light coming in like that, whereas in reality it's soft and it doesn't really come across that much. It's probably because there's environment out there which is blocking light, and here we've got no environment. So, you know... There's various things I could do with that, but instead of working and adding environment, I'm just going to work directly in this scene. Bear in mind, you know, these doorways I've cut here, they may be kind of correct in the sizes, but I can adjust those. You don't see them, so it doesn't matter so much if they're correct or not. Um, first of all, what I want to do before I get the lighting more correct, is I want to get this blue color coming in here. So what I'm going to do is just right-click on this, change material map type, and I'm going to add on an maps general and output and with this output what i can do is enable color map click on rgb turn off red and green just have the blue add in a point and then move over here to move right click on this bezier smooth pull these handles you can just left click and pull the handles and just add some more blue into the scene and you can see how that changes here and then what i'm going to do is turn off the blue get the red and the green on add in another point Right click on that, Bezier Smooth, oh, move over here to move, drag this up, and then just drag this down a bit, and you'll see even more blue there. Now, you know, this is not going to be correct, but it will give you more of an idea. Bear in mind, we're not looking at, is this correct or not? We're trying to create an image. We're trying to create something. So here I've got a lot of yellow. I don't really want that. Ooh. You can always try the opposite. Sometimes these need to, you need to push these the opposite way. So blue come down, red and green come up. Oops, turn off blue. Bring these up. And obviously outside will now be yellow. Inside has blue-ish. Okay. It's to do with the way the image is saved.
Okay, we're looking there. That's we're getting quite a bit of blue. We're also getting these yellows coming through. I imagine because I've pushed this so far. Let's bring this up. If you were competing out three is one with the blue, you know, if you got 20, 20 pounds to spend on that, I would and just put that in. It's going to be easier than coming in and adjusting all of this. Okay. Now what we want to do as well, because this is, you know, this horrible yellow outside, we're going to come in here and let's just make this, oh sorry, come here over here to the light and just click on options and just make it invisible and so it doesn't affect reflections. Actually, we can have this one affecting reflections. we get blue. If we make this material reflective, let's just make sure we don't end up with lots of yellow in the reflection. If I come here, make this 0.7, let's turn that off, let's bring this down a bit, let's bring this down to 0.5. Okay, now we've got this type of material on all the walls and let's see what we get. Okay, we're kind of looking fairly good. Okay, like I say, if you use Peter Guthrie's or the other ones, you know, the Viz People ones, they'll come in differently. Let's just try Viz People. And I wanted this one, number nine. And just double click on this, make sure you've got that selected. And if we load this in here, let's see what we get. I think we're going to end up with weird colors. Yeah, let's stop this. Okay, let's delete this output. Let's get another output. Let's plug that in. Plug this into here. Okay, so this is just messing around with HDRIs, seeing how they're going to, what they're going to look like. Okay, we've got this. What, what's the setup? Inverse gamma set up one. Okay, everything's set at 1. What we've got, though, is we've got the sun directly coming in through this window right now. Uh, if you look at HDRIs, you see they have this line here, and that's generally the middle of the picture. So see in all these pictures. Oops. So if you see in these pictures here, like the middle is where the sun is. And so that middle where the sun is, that's that's going to be this point here. So right through this door, we've got the sun coming. So what we can do is come here and you can, we can just rotate this just 90 degrees. So it's behind the camera. Now it goes 90, 180, 270, 360. So now the sun's back here. And now if we render this, it should look a little bit different. So we get a lot more blue coming in, you see. So that sky's coming directly in through there. And this is actually really nice. Okay, this is working out well. Um, this output's not doing anything right now. Literally just got this in there. So let's just try this without the output. Let's just select that. Plug this in here. And first of all, before we make any changes, let's just make sure it's the same with and without that output. So yeah, that's coming out the same. And then we want to, you know, get some more light coming. So we're going to make that two. And if we look, that's better. Now we would like there to be some more blue in there. Um, all right, let's put the output back in. And then let's see if we enable color map, click on RGB. And if we just take the blue, add a point here, click here on move, right click on that, Bezier smooths, pull these handles. And then if we just pull that blue up, do we get more blue in that we want? Yeah, we get more blue. Okay, so we've got this output on here. I'm going to drag this down a bit, probably, I think, and I'm going to add in red and a green. Uh, I just want to approximate this color closer. So if I put in a green, add in a point, right click, right click, Bezier Smooth. Oh, undo that. Turn off blue, right click, Bezier Smooth. And bring that down slightly. Okay, is this color closer to what we need? Not really. If I push that up, yeah, now we're getting closer to what we want. All right, we'll push it up a little bit more. Okay, and then what we need to do, because if I render this now, 
You can see we're getting some of that blue in. That's what we need to do. If I bring this, if I ch click on here, <laughs> I don't normally get into all of this. I'm showing you guys. You know, it's just like, oh, handle this, handle this, handle this. It's just any which way to get it where you want it to be. Um, and this brings up another interesting point. Another interesting point is that the composition of the scene is more important than how you achieve it. Like, you're going for a certain product. So you're not going to go, oh, but I violated some rule that someone set somewhere. And so to achieve that product, you, you, you want it to look a certain way. So you're going to use the different tools you have to get it to look like that. And that's the point here is it's like, okay, I'm just going to use some different tools to adjust things to make it look the way I want it to look. Because I have the idea in my head, and now I've got to bring that out inside the computer. So, so just use your tools in any which way you need to to make it look the way you want it to look. Okay, so we take this, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on a color correction. And I'm going to keep the old map as submap, and now so this has adjusted here, and it's in there. And I'm just going to click on here, and I'm just going to add in more saturation. And that's the only reason I added this, so I can get some more saturation going here. And let's see if I drag this way up high, what do I get? And you can see actually here, you get yellow and blue both coming in. And you can see this in the render. We're getting both yellows here and blues. And if we compare this to the original render, so I'd say the saturation's come up a bit higher. Let's pull this back down there. But I kind of like it. It's going in the right direction. Okay, now I've got these weird shadows coming here. I mean, they're not so weird. We know what's causing them. The light's coming through these windows and, you know, it's hitting these edges. And so it's bringing, it's coming light coming from here and it's causing one and from here and it's causing the other. So if I drag this, if I drag these points back, it's going to make this a narrower shaft. The light can't go from there from here to here like that. Instead, it's going to have to come from back here. And so you're going to have more shadow and less light. So I'm going to do that. And I just need to make sure I have the wall, the ceiling, and the floor selected here. I don't think it selected the ceiling because I was on um, put back face color on there. So just make sure that ceiling's also selected. See here it says three objects. I mean, you can also press H if you like and just select them all through here. Just click OK and you've got all three. And then put an edit poly on and then just go top, Z, and then just go sub-object mode, vertex. Just select everything here and just drag these across a bit. And now if you see, these shadows are going to move or disappear entirely. Yeah, see they've come, this is less shadow there, so let's stop this. And let's drag this back a bit more. And let's put this on again. All right. I like that. We've got some light coming through here. I want to increase this light. This is a largely reflection. So I added that so we could see what was happening with the reflection, how it was reflecting the HDRI. But I don't need this anymore, so we're just going to turn this off. And then let's see what difference it makes with no reflection. Because it's reflecting light around. And what I want to do is open a material editor. So let's take this HDRI and let's push this render multiplier up. Let's try 10. And so here we've got some light coming through here. Okay. Let's drop this down to five. And this is rotated 90. Let's try a 180 rotation. So this light's coming from the sun, which is now over there. So it's probably too much. Let's try flipping this back. Let's try 120. You should see a lot more blue coming in. OK. And then I need more blue in the main area here. So I'm just going to take these verts and just bring this back. So we're just adjusting things to get it where we want it to be. Actually, I can move these back a bit more. Okay, and if we look at the image, it's like that. I think if I bring this up again, 
and I can look at this, like there's too much turquoise going on in here. So let's see if I come to the green and push it up higher. It should be even more turquoise. Yeah, and if I drag this down, let's just try extremes. Now I'm expecting it to be purpley. Let's compare. It's closer, it's not far off. I'm getting a lot of these weird yellows though coming through. That's, I guess, because of this color correction. Let's delete that color correction. Put this output back in. Oh, sorry, gotta make sure I got the HDRI selected. Come out of sub-object mode, select the HDRI. And this is the sort of thing you do continually when you're working in an HDRI and you're lighting in areas, you're just trying to get it looking the way you want it to look. Okay, I really like that. It could be slightly more saturation in there, but I think that's really nice. If you push things too far, you're going to end up getting weird lighting and weird effects happening from, you know, just pushing it to more than is necessary. And if I push this right up here, sort of neutralizing things, so let's bring it back down about here. Also, I don't think you have to get it exactly perfect. You can always, you know, you do have post-production where you can always take things afterwards and then edit them. Okay, so this we're gonna drag back. Green, and bring down. You see how quick it is to render when you use that low resolution HDRI. And I think this blue is too high, so I'm going to bring that down. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. It's good enough for me to work with. 